Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Eldon Martinez from the Immigrant Education Channel, the only channel that addresses real immigrant issues. Coming to you with another informative video, but this video is going to be an update on the furlough at USCIS and how it, it has affected the workforce and also people who have applied for immigration benefits. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, budget shortfall at United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. The federal agency responsible for granting immigration benefits have caused the agency to issue furlough notice to approximately 75% of its staff. A move that can halt the U.S. immigration system, ladies and gentlemen. That being said, the agency is funded by application fees from Im immigrants, which have dropped significantly since Trump took office. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, the drop in revenue at USCIS means that a majority of the employees will be required to stop work and go without pay for at least 30 days beginning August 3rd unless Congress intervenes. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, the furlough would last for at least 30 days but could last as long as 90 days before USCIS could make a decision to either bring the employees back or start taking more long-term long measures, which could include laying those employees off entirely. According to a spokesperson from USCIS, ladies and gentlemen, despite staffing reduction, employees will still be required to process application and interview applicants, which could result in increasing backlogs and more loss in agency revenue. Furthermore, ladies and gentlemen, according to USCIS, fewer people in the office would also result in backlog increases. Fewer staff would also mean a slower processing of citizenship application, meaning that people who would potentially have been made citizen prior to the November 2020 election will instead be stuck in processing. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, the office that is in charge of conducting background checks and investigation would also be affected and as a result, would affect national security. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this video. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Last but not least, thanks to all my viewers and subscribers.